A man called the Sperminator. There is a man called, nicknamed the Sperminator, a man that welcomes <coughs> his 165th child. 100 and huh? 165th child. Damn. Where he lives? Says he'll stop fathering kids soon. He's a 48-year-old man um, from Brooklyn named mm, Ari. New York. Makes sense. Who's known as the Sperminator and has fathered, fathered over 165 children. Is he like a donator or something? Um, I don't know. Think so? Let's see. <laughs> um, he said he'll stop when he's fifty. He's currently forty-eight. Yeah, two more years. Mm-hmm. Then he'll retire. Reco- he'll retire. Oh my God! He'll require. <laughs> Fucking a! He'll retire, and I quote, spreading his seed. That's a lot of children. Is he in their lives? He's. Um, I don't know. Let's see. He's currently in the Bahamas. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that brother on vacation. Vacationing with his first son, who's twenty years old, and child number thirty-three, who's seven years old. He he numbers them. I mean, they numbered it. I don't know. His latest child was birthed by a woman in Connecticut earlier this week. This is like right before Father's Day. Um, babies to whom he is a father are also due to be born. So he has women pregnant in the U.S., Canada, Asia, Africa, and Europe. I have 10 women currently pregnant that are due, some are due in July, some are due in August. Yeah, he is a serial sperm donor. And he still hands over sperm samples to one or two aspiring mothers every week. So he probably has more kids out there. He does it at times through clinics and at times face-to-face, but through non-sexual meetings. It sounds like there's a movie like that. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. But that was like not on purpose. It was like the. the it was a mistake. It, not a mistake. It was the the person who runs the sperm clinic was using his own sperm or using the same sperm oh, yeah, for yeah, every yeah. woman. Yeah. This guy's like must be donating across the fucking world. Well, he's, he's in Africa, Asia, Canada. He's all over the world. Yeah. 165 kids and counting. I, I don't feel bad, but, like, I wonder how when those kids grow up, like, oh, how many cousins I have? Motherfucker, you got a lot. That's not cousins. That's fucking half-siblings. Well, brothers, sisters, you got a lot. See, but I feel like that's dangerous because, like they say, like, if you're in one, if you were in Phoenix, if he was in Phoenix. And he had all those children. And he had all those kids in Phoenix as a anonymous, as an anonymous sperm donor. It's dangerous because if, let's say, you and I, were born that way in Phoenix, right? And then we didn't know that, and we dated. We'd be half siblings and not know. You know what I mean? That's yeah, why it's dangerous yeah. because you're not supposed to have like a certain like they're not supposed to use this the sperm the same person's sperm like so many times because then they become half siblings in the same city or yeah. same area. But that's happened in that documentary that went. Yes, time where the, they were yeah. dating and almost or some. I don't know if one of them was, was married. A couple was married and yeah, they were yeah, half yeah. siblings. Yeah, a couple was married and didn't find out to. Or like have kids because because you know the more you, ha- it's like considered more like inbreeding when you have kids and they're the your siblings or cousins or whatever. Like that's more of a chance of having birth defects and like other health problems. That's why. And that's fucking nuts. One hundred sixty-five. So. Honestly, I would say crazy <laughs> and counting. He has ten he'll women pregnant. He'll probably hit two hundred. Oh, at he'll, least by he, he, he's got two more solid, years. Yeah, so I, I think he might hit three. No, and he's got ten women pregnant right now. He's not gonna hit three. He's gonna be like two fifty. I'm gonna give him two. I give him two sixty five. We're gonna have to see in two years. I don't think I keep tabs on that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Thank you.